Hi, I'm Mindy Burgoyne, and this is a haunted minute, but not really, because I'm going to talk about Tales of the Dead. I'm in a cemetery. I'm in Spring Hill Cemetery in Easton, and this cemetery is huge. It has over 10,000 graves, and it expands to go even across uh, the road that you see behind me. But I think it's interesting that cemeteries tell us stories of the dead, and we can get a lot of information about who lived in a given area, who were the heroes, who were the villains. Um, and I love this little part of Spring Hill Cemetery that's outlined here with a wrought iron fence. That's an Adkins Hewlett family plot. And behind me, this tall marker is Colonel William Hewlett. He was um, an officer, obviously, in the American uh, Army. And his grandfather was in George Washington's Army during the Revolutionary War. His wife Mary is just beside him. But if you look at the marker that's just beside that, that's a marker for their infant children. John and George Washington, both who died under a year old. So they put that little marker there for them. But if you also look behind that, this stone just next to it, which would be there, that's their daughter. She lived to be 54 years old. But just behind that one, just behind it, the one that's right in between these two headstones, that is George and Mary's son, Richard, who died when he was 27. So you think of these two, how many families do you know that have had one child die? How many do you know that had two? How many do you know that had three? So Colonel William and his wife Mary had three children, three tragic losses, and that wasn't uncommon in the 1800s. Almost every family you knew would have lost at least one child, and these cemetery markers tell that story. And if that wasn't sad enough, let's walk over here to the Atkins, who are relatives of the Hewlett's. This tall marker here with the big cross, that's for Isaac Leonard Adkins and his wife. So Isaac Leonard is engraved on the front there, and then his wife Mary is on the side, and they're buried beneath that marker. But just beside it, if you take a look at that marker right there, where my finger is, that's a marker for their little girl Annie, who died when she was three. And the picture that is etched on the cover of that marker is a woman carrying an infant, kind of suspended like an angel taking an infant to heaven. And just beside that is a marker of another one of their children, a Mary Hewlett. And she died when she was two. So this family lost two little children. Another one of their children is this uh, marker here, which says Adkins on it. And that's a marker belonging to their son, Frank. He became um, a minister, and he died when he was relatively young. He was under 50 years old, and his wife is buried beside them. And then right beside that marker is their little girl, that tiny little marker. You see, one of those is the headstone, and the other is the footstone. So it tells a story, all of these old graves, tells how often people lost children and how very difficult that must have been. Parents have loved their children since the beginning of time, but we don't often think about how painful it would have been in this time, rich or poor, to lose that many of your children. Now on the ghost walk that we do at Easton, we show you another grave of a little boy and we also show you a grave of a spirit that haunts the cemetery. So if you're interested in that, get on the Easton ghost walk.